It's the greatest showtime! <laughs> Hello, Jevil. What's it like being a jester to the kings? Are there any tricks of the trade or bonuses that come with the work? Well, what can I say? The work is cushy and creative. As a jester, I must stay close to the kings and jump out to them when they call me to amuse them. I also entertain people on holidays, and Sean even joins me then. I don't get paid enough for my work, and by that I mean I don't get paid at all. But even without money, I have everything I need. A huge room here in the castle, and they also cook delicious food here. But there is my favorite bonus that I get being a jester. Almost complete freedom of speech and action! Of course there are some exceptions, but still! To Jevil. Have you met the kid in blue armor with a purple dinosaur and green fluffy sheep wizard by any chance? If so, what do you think of them? Uh, no. I have never seen these people. Were they guests here? If so, a lot of people come to Cod Castle every day. But that doesn't mean that I meet every one of them. Hello, Jevil. What would you consider your relationship with Shom? Friends, co-workers, brothers? We are co-workers and friends, but by no means brothers. But even so, Sean is my closest person, and they are the only one who talks to me like a person. In our free time, we play games and talk about everything in the world. They're really good at games, and they can keep up a conversation on any topic. Why do you look like a jack-in-the-box? Maybe it's because my name also starts with a J? And I do live in a box! That's right! This is my versatile, multifunctional, home wardrobe bed soap refrigerator washing machine ironing board! You're a jester. Do you have tools? Oh, I have a lot of tools! There are hula hoops, balls, skittles, all kinds of stage props. And my devil's rattle! Something like a staff, as kings have. But on the tip, instead of a diamond or a club, it's my head! Hey there, beautiful! How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> shut up! It's such a flatterer. Jevil, could you tell us about the kings? Last time I checked, there was only King Spade. Well, there are four kings that rule in our kingdom. Diamonds, hearts, clubs, and spades. Each of them are incredibly powerful. And each with their own quirks. <laughs> Diamond is a fun fella. Sometimes, however, it's hard to distract him from his jewelry. But this only means that he has a sharp eye for treasures. Heart is a lover of festivals and compliments and very courteous in communication. I think I can tell he's the most open nature among the other kings. Clubs changes his mood and opinions about things faster than a weather vane changes its direction in the epicenter of a hurricane. However, five heads means five times more knowledge. And spades. Sometimes it's hard to get along with him, yeah. And there are all these rumors going around the castle about him and the queen, but I don't want to help spread them. My job is just to entertain his majesty, even if it's always difficult for me to make just one of his mouth smile, and I'm not talking about both at once. Why, hello, clever one. Thoughts on your privilege as a jester of the court? It is likely the only thing keeping your head connected to your body, after all. Hey, Jevil. Who is your favorite person to mess with? What's true is true. As a royal jester, I get away with things that no others can't. Whoever's left down the stairs is a stink! One, two, three, go! Lost me next! Oh. I'm sorry, you dukums. I didn't notice you. <laughs> Rules Cod, the Duke, head of the dungeon and my constant muse and victim for pranks, is keeping order in the castle. Sometimes it seems to me that even the way I breathe does not suit him. But he can't do anything to me, because everyone knows that everything the Jester says and does makes no sense. 
So, punishing him for misconduct also doesn't make sense. Jevil, have you tried making clones of yourself like in your fight? If so, how do you use them? I create clones quite often. They are short-lived and cannot move more than a few meters away from me so as not to disappear. But they're very useful in performing in everyday life. There you go, Jevil! Oh, thank you, Jevil! You're welcome, Jevil! Sham wonders how I create these so easily. They say it's a very high level of magic. And Sham asks me, is it really easier for you to create a clone and get something you need instead of getting up and grabbing it yourself? And I say yes, and they look at me like I'm an idiot. Jevil, I always wondered, can you put pure chaos into objects? Sham, look! This is our dancing! Oh, no way! Very impressive, Jevil. Very impressive. Jevil, what's your body made of? My skin is made of paper. And my bone is a spring, which also feels like paper. Jevil, I've seen that your neck can stretch, but how far can it go? Good question. I don't actually know, but we can find out. <laughs> I feel I didn't think about something. How do I... What is this thing? I have no idea, man. Maybe it's a fencing tape or something. Wiggling. <laughs> Watch out! Uh, yeah, it it will be hard to unravel this thing. Oh dear. Shum! Out! 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 Uh, sit still. I'm almost done. Out! Damn it! How did you even do it? I wanted to know how far my neck could stretch. Uh, well, did you find it out? Unfortunately, I forgot to take it. Oh, what a fool! Oh. Jevil, out of curiosity, what is your personal favorite weapon to use, such as stage play or in general as the court jester? Anything interesting ever happened to you? Hiya, Jevil. I was wondering if your tail snags on things by accident. If so, has this happened during a joke? Can you balance it? Well, I like to combine instruments with each other. I won't say I have one favorite tool, but hula hoops and balls always turn out to be spectacular. People sometimes tangle on their own feet. And when you also have a tail, this probability only increases. But yes, I easily balance on it. Coming from hell, here's a question for you, Jevil. What do you know about lightners? Any thoughts on them? Oh yeah, our gods. They used to come here often. But one day, at some point, just poof, they have disappeared, and their trail is gone. Many people worry that the Lightners have left us forever, but I'm sure this is not so. They'll be back, I swear to you. And until then... I will be on the stage for them! Hello, Jevil. Do you know of the King's son, Lancer? What do you think about him? <laughs> the young prince is just a little bean. I saw him a couple times, but no more. I'm... I'm not allowed to get close to him. Jevil, are you allowed caffeine or sugar? If not, have a cookie made out of coffee beans. Places a whole box of cookies in front of him. All right, well, I'm off. Thank you, but I'm legally prohibited from drinking coffee and sugar. I mean, literally. Rules wrote it down in his rule book. Jevil, have you fought Sans? If so, who won? Uh, I'm sorry, dear voice, but I really have no idea who this person you're talking about is. I never even fought anyone. Jevil, I bet you can't outrun that big star with wings. Oh, you doubt my speed? You think I can't outrun some walkler bird? Well, well, I accept your challenge! Let me prove you wrong! Hey, Birdie! Come and get me, you fat!
the pillow. <laughs> Come on! What's wrong? Are you afraid of me? <laughs> hey, hey, oh, oh, that's it. Oh, these guys are so easy to pick up. <laughs> Come on! Faster! Faster! Ah, this is still too slow. Listen, I'm starting to think you're not even trying. I mean, we've just been flying in circles around the arena. <laughs> There's no fun with you. So, as you can see, dear voices, I have no problem to overtake anyone in the dark world. Because I can... What the... <laughs> What? Where? I can't... Where's everything? Where's me? Oh, here I am. I thought... I thought for a second I got blind. But... Where did everything go? Where is the forest? I could swear I know these places. Inside and out. What the forest is this? What the- WHY?! Hey, Ajevel, ever met a certain dark figure who speaks of the nihilistic reality of your world? If you have not, you have been warned. You know what? I'm starting to get tired of you. Do you know this one? Do you know that one? Uh, no. I do not know them. And why should I be warned about this person specifically? Oh, wait. What's going on with me? Uh, <clears throat> my apologies. This place is getting on my nerves. It looks like I'm really lost, since even my teleport doesn't help me. And wherever I go, I always return to that tree. Oh, thanks, Lightness! Finally, a living soul! Sir! Sir! Sorry! May I have you for a minute? I'm lost and I need a little help! Hey, everyone! Thanks for watching my super cool debut in Ask Jevil Part 1! Don't close those curtains on me yet, because Part 2 won't be too far off! The artist of today was Levshini! And the voice actors who brought me and my friends to life include Reftrocity, oh hey, that's me, John Winfield as Rules Card and acting as the Hathi and Rudin down the hall, and finally, Ray VA voicing my old pal Sean. Give them a hoot and a cheer for me! And finally, thanks to our beloved patrons <clears throat> Alex the Gaming Demon, Leah Robinson, Mysterious Kitty, Penny Chavez, Rando, and Stella Arts. And thanks to everyone else for watching, sharing and supporting us, the channel, the artist, and the voice actors. I gotta go now, but I expect to see you at my next performance, okay?